What's up, Weird World? We're back. Welcome to my new room. If anybody didn't come to the live stream, like I said, we're back. We're getting back into Overlord. You know the title. I'm glad to see y'all. I'm leaving time stamps in this. I'm going to try to combine these two episodes into this. Tell me if y'all like it. Let's get into it. The world of the massively popular DMMORPG, Yggdrasil, drastically changed after its last day of Bro, service. I just want to know how he the designed his character, used, really. Various rules have changed, and he the just NPCs did a random character and just put on the magic garments. Raise your head. Geez, could I look any more depressed and hopeless? They can't I tell, bro. You got no thanks. You uh -huh. Your thanks are wasted on us. We have pledged ourselves to you and live to obey, Lord. I fear that our abilities may not meet your expectations. Despite this, we will strive to meet them in honor of the lost supreme being, our blessed creator. This we vow. This we vow. Excellent. Most excellent, my guardian. I have no doubt that all of you will fulfill your duty. Man, get a role playing though. Nobody can say that. <laughs> now then, the situation outside the great tomb of Nazari is at present entirely unknown to us. With this in mind, I've had Seba survey the surrounding area. Grasslands. Yes, Lord. I'm afraid the swamps that once surrounded the great tomb of Nazari are nowhere to be seen. Furthermore, I cannot confirm a single building, human or monster, within one kilometer of here. It would seem we are completely isolated. Very good, Sebus. You've served me well. As I suspected, it appears that Nazarick has been transported to an unknown land by equally mysterious means. Matter of fact, don't drop down your favorite oh, guardians God, in, the, in the comment section. I'll let y'all know who mine is at the end of this episode. I have a task for you. Lord, fortify our defenses and work on a way to strengthen our information gathering. The rest of you, Follow their lead. Oh. Mare, is there any way to conceal the great tomb of Nazarek? Yes, though it will be difficult if all we use is magic. But if we covered the walls with dirt and vegetation, I think it would help to camouflage us from intruders. You want to smear the glorious Nazarek walls with dirt? Alberto, don't make needless remarks. Yes, forgive me, Lord. I was careless. Are you confident the dirt will be sufficient, Mare? Yes. I Bruh, I forgot I how mean she could be to other people. Except. Right. One round of mound would look unnatural. Seven, are there any hills around the tomb we could blend in with? No, the area is barren. Nothing but flat lands as far as the eye can see. Fortunately, the land can be molded to suit our needs. Would making dummy hills suffice? You're so serious. How about tell them the truth? I thought I was going to faint. That was so scary. Seriously, I was sure the pressure would crush us. To think he would be this amazing. When he shows his true power and authority, he's even more glorious than I imagined. Indeed. He seemed pleased with our vow of fidelity. I hope that is the case. He acted completely different when he was alone with Mari and me. In fact, he was super kind and gentle. I want to see Cotitis actually fight with his axe. He thought we looked thirsty. That just proves he's a true ruler through and through. His power and mercy make him amazing. Mm -hmm. Just as you say, Mare. He was incredible, wasn't he? He sensed our feelings and acted on them accordingly. Mm. Just as an absolute Child ruler should. Mm. Of the 41 Supreme Not Being, he I mean, El Bildo. And when all of the others have left us behind, Shout he mercifully some, some, some lo lolly bait. If there's nothing more, I'll return to my duties. I do not know where Lord Lamont has gone within the tomb, but wherever he is, I should stay by his side. Very well. If anything happens, please inform me immediately, Sebus. Especially if Lord Momonga calls for me personally. I will rush to his side, no matter what I have to sacrifice. But if Lord Momonga wants me to join him <gasps> in his bed chamber, I will like, need time to prepare. I would be safer. Of course, if he wants me to go without bathing, then I'd be You've made yourself clear. Now, if you will all excuse me, I must take my leave. Best dude right there, Sebus. Is there something wrong, Shaltier? Are you hurt? Ill? No, I'm fantastic. 
plastic. I just got a little overstimulated, is all. This power was so intense, my underwear went through a small crisis. Mm, yeah. Disgusting bitch! <laughs> what? Don't pretend you aren't thrilled over the gift he just gave us. He shared so much of his power. If something that incredible doesn't make you wet, you must be rancid beneath that skirt. You filthy parasite! Just to bring these, they be what I am. I take pride in it, and a big mouth idiotic gorilla like you won't change that. Slapping your fangs, Lamprey. Be where it gets you! Right, Laura. I'll let you deal with the women issue. Oh, not so fast! You can't jump Again. Me. Any of them could have broke him up, though. <laughs> but they left poor Aura, a child. Their vitriol aside, I'd be quite interested to see the result of such a union. What? It would be a great addition to our forces, and it would pave the way for Nazarick's future. I'm not sure I follow you. Every great ruler needs an heir, don't they? Huh? Lord Mamunga stayed behind. I don't like him, but he is right. Though. However, one day, any ruler who were for salt should want an heir. Wherever they went. Therefore, it would be nice if he left an heir we could pledge our loyalty to. Agree. Um, so you're saying that one of them should give birth to Lord Mamunga's heir? What for me? If we do our jobs, they won't be needed. Yes, of course. But in the to do it on a job who always we pledge ourselves to his line. That would be kind of nice. No, it would be wonderful. Change that mind real quick. I see it so clearly now. I would be also By the way, Mare, is there a particular reason you're wearing female garments? Actually, this is something that Buku Buku. Now then, it's time to begin planning. I only took on the class of magician, but since I'm level 100, I should have enough strength to swing a sword. Let's see. Nope. Looks like I still can't wield or equip items that aren't specific to my endgame class. It's been three days since I came to this world, and I haven't once felt uneasy about my undead form. Maybe my mentality changed along with my body? I know that if I get emotionally mm. unstable, some outside force makes me calm down. That bears investigation. It's damn wrong. I haven't felt the need to eat or sleep since I got here. Also, I didn't act on my libido. I guess that's another sword I won't be wielding. I will put. I will move heaven and earth to use that sword. Create greater items. Y'all been on this channel. Y'all know who I am. It really is like Yggdrasil. If a magic item allows it, I can bypass my class restrictions. Narun, I'm going to go outside the tomb for a bit. The guard shall accompany you. Just say the word. No need. I will go alone. She looks so... Wait, wait Lord. <laughs> if you leave Not bother. We would be like... unable to protect you. It is our sworn duty to act as your shield and perish. I won't allow it. There is something I want to do discreetly. My decision is made. As you wish, my lord. This is so tiring. I won't be able to use magic in this armor, but I can make do with my items. Now who the hell you think you are? Jealousy, avarice, and wrath? Why are the three demon generals under Demiurge on the first floor? Ugh. Demiurge. It's you, my lord. But why are you traveling without an armed escort? And wearing such armor? Crap! How'd he know? Calm down. Only someone wearing a guild ring can freely teleport around Nazarek. Of course he knew. Well, there is... never seen a night as clear as this before. The artificial sky blue planet made on floor six was impressive, but it didn't hold a candle to this. Bro, I got so many questions about his real world, where he came from, that he couldn't see the night sky. Fly! So fucking disgusting. <laughs> I can see 
everything with just the moon's light. I wish Blue Planet were here to see this world's unbelievable beauty. Blue Planet? The stars in the sky glitter like jewels in a treasure box. Well, I believe this world exists so that you may adorn yourself with its infinite riches, and we guardians exist to help you do so. Hmm. Hmm. You could be right about that. Perhaps I were sent to this land to obtain those jewels for myself, along with every treasure that shines beneath them. But to hoard such things would be the height of selfishness. Instead, I could use them to adorn the great what happened to this residence and my friends of Ayn's who go. If you wish it, we will use all the power of Nazarite to obtain it for you, my lord. <laughs> we don't even know what exists in this world. It's a little early for a quest. Then again, it makes me think the most enjoyable thing now might be taking over the world. Who am I kidding? There's no way we'd pull that off. I want this. Why this is why you should have watched what you said <laughs> in front of the in front of the evil frog. It might be because they're too far away, or the effect of that. What the hell is he? If that's the case, maybe I should spread the name of Einzul Gone throughout this world. Charger popped out, yo, give me one. Your computer sucks. That's Earth Surge. He's using a skill to increase his magic range, and one of his class skills to amplify the effect. Well done, Mare. Lord Mamunga, may I ask what you plan to do? I want to thank Mare for his hard work. What do you think I should give him as a reward? I'm a sure toy. He be happy to He's a child. To speak to him, my lord. Mm. Oh, Lord Mamonga! Why are you here? My man, we're oh, legit no, a trap. A mistake already? Not at all, Mare. The work you're doing is of the utmost importance. It will protect Nazarick from intruders and more. Right. I wanted you to know just how satisfied I am. Your performance thus far has been exemplary. Um, thanks, Lord Mamunga. I would like you to have this. <gasps> That's a ring of Einzul gone. But only supreme beings are allowed to wear an item like this. I can't possibly... When the last time you seen one of them? No, I'm the only one around, bro. <laughs> Moving between Nazarick's floors can be difficult. This will allow you to do so unimpeded and easily complete your work. Now, take this ring and serve Nazarick well. Thank you so very much, Lord Mamonga. I'll be sure to work extra, extra hard for you in the honor of Nazarick. I swear it. I'll be worthy of this gift. I'm depending on... Be sure of it, boy. Yes. By the way, my lord, I was wondering... Why are you dressed like that? <coughs> well, that... Bro, everybody calling them out. All that all. It's for our sake. He didn't want to bother any of us while we were working. It's like a disguise. If we knew that he was here watching us, we would stop working to praise him. If that happened, then nothing would get done. Isn't that right, Lord Mamanga? But y'all already it know it's him, exactly though. Exactly what I was thinking. I'm leader of the Floor Guardians, my lord. But even without that title, I'm certain that I would sense your thoughts and feelings as if they were my own. Is that mm -hmm. so? <laughs> I forgot about that. No, no, nothing at all. <laughs> she was ready to kill my man. Sorry, sorry for interrupting you. <laughs> she was about to end him. <laughs> I'll get right on it, Lord. Bring if eyes was not there, she would have end Mari. I, bet -o. I should give one to you as well. Give me one? Of what, Lord? This will make your work as administrator of the Guardians a little easier. Use it wisely. Thank you very much. <clears throat> mm. Work diligently. Demir, come with me. We need, I need your help to try I to use a sword. I only hope that Find me a good I spell. Myself worthy of such a treasure. I have done what I plan to do. 
I will return below before I cause any more distractions. Oh, yes! Now it's a better man than me. I promise you. We will attack the next village tomorrow morning and guide the beasts to their cages. <laughs> All right, end of episode two. Let's get into it, bro. Like I said, seen all three seasons. We're just recapping. Who's your favorite guardian? Cause mine's a Sebus. Sebus is my dude. He's my dude. I loved him in season two. He and he thinks for himself since the beginning in my eyes. Now, if you want to say favorite wife, you El Beto. Even though she's a bitch, that be that keep it that keep it a stack. That girl crazy. But yeah, I'm I love Overlord because this is how. Don't come at me. This is how every anime really should be. A evil Overlord shouldn't be beaten by a sixteen year old who trained for about a year. That's be honest, y'all. We love we love my hero. We love. One Piece, but Luffy shouldn't be beating Kaido. Deku, for damn sure, should have died in season one. And I'm being, I'm being too mean. Season two, at least, he should have been dead. That'd be totally honest. People who've been plotting for years, built their empires. Here comes a 16-year-old who trained for about a month or a year or two beat, beat the ever living dog shit out of <laughs> with the power of friendship not so I'm looking at you bro can't wait to fairy tale to come back but not so I'm looking at you bro alright y'all let's jump into the next one Like I say, best guardian, Sebus. I just need to figure out how to work this mirror of remote viewing. Then we can really secure the surrounding area of Nazareth. That's a real, that's a real brother right there. Touch me, you say, hey, bro, I made you to watch after my boy right here. So make sure you do that right. Bro, why you didn't try to run? How can I watch this violence so calmly? I would have passed out at the mere sight of it in the real world. <sighs> Plead him for his Take life. Orders. Leave them be. I see no good reason to interfere in their affairs. As you wish, my lord. Touch me? I'm disappointed in you, Juan. Stop goofing around and kill him already. Damn it, human. I'll fix his mug. Damn. That's what you call having some real power in your skills. Why did you save me? Because saving a person who's in trouble is always the right thing to do. Goddamn all night. <laughs> I guess 
but now's as good a time as any to test my strength in this new world. Mm -hmm. I'd have to do it eventually anyway. Seven. I'm paying them a visit. Raise the security level of Nasri to maximum while I'm away. Tell Alberto to meet me there, armed and ready for battle. Armed and ready. I want soldiers who are skilled at stealth, or can use the invisibility spell Ooh. at a moment's notice. I will strive to live by your example. Touch me. Bruh, I'd have grabbed my sister as soon as she fell in. What if what y'all falling when y'all run? Me, as a soldier, I don't get paid enough. Uh, uh. No. <laughs> Rest in peace. I was afraid that ninth tier on dead spell wasn't going to work on these Jews, and I'd have to retreat. I could always use my melee armor, but I'd like to save it for another day. It's a monster! Hmm. I felt nothing after killing that soldier. Interesting. It seems as if I stopped being human in both a physical and a mental capacity. <laughs> what kind of man can murder women and children but doesn't have the nerve to face me? A smart one! Well, I'm, I'm out! You'll help me test my power whether you want to or not. Dragon Lightning! You took now to run? Pathetic, and that was only a weak fifth tier spell. Let's try making an undead. Death Knight! You could have made two since you had two bodies, I think. Whoa! Taking over a dead body? It didn't work like that in Nigdrasil. Death Knight. Kill anyone in the village who looks like this. My man gone. I need to think my orders through from now on. What's the point of summoning a defensive monster if I'm just gonna send him away? Facts. It took longer than expected to get here. I'm sorry you had to wait. Don't apologize. You arrived right on time, Alberto. Thank you for saying so. Now then, how would you like me to deal with these pathetic lower life forms? They did nothing to you. Correct. The humans wearing the armor are the enemies we are after. I understand. It looks like you're bleeding. Drink this. What? Yeah. Bruh, look at you. You will scare any human. Bro, look at you though. How dare you insult your savior? Alberto, don't lower your weapon at once. As you wish, my lord. This is not blood. It's a healing potion. My headphones went out for a bit, yo. Again, no. Where my horse at? <laughs> y'all can stay if y'all want. What are y'all standing around for? <laughs> Stupidity. <laughs> Bro, he's throwing that armor all so fast. This can't be happening. I'm too rich to die in a hellhole like this. 
Yeah, why are you draw the armor? Stand your ground, Bellius. No, no, let him be. Protect me! I have money. I'll give you 200 gold pieces. No, make that 500 gold. I'll pay a thousand. Passed out like a. He, there's no way to save him. Leave. Well, your money mean nothing to us. Got me bent. Dumbass. The commander's dead. I'm in charge now. Everybody, run for your life. They're scattered. to meet all of you. Don't worry about my death knight. No harm will come to you now. Tell your supervisor, <laughs> I mean owner, my kindness. However, next time you commit such heinous acts in this area, I will bring death to your entire kingdom. Please, make sure you speak my name to everyone. Short sure thing, brother. Run! Acting is a tough gig. Oh, pardon me, sir. Hmm? Why did you come here? I could not stand by and watch innocent people be murdered. Gone with a moral obligation. Bull! This village is under my protection. If Sebus wasn't there, he would have let them all die. I don't do this kind of work for free, though. I expect to be compensated for my efforts. As I thought, the villagers don't question my intentions as long as they think I'm doing this for financial gain. To the south of both provinces. The village chief assumed the Baharut Empire was responsible for the attack based on the crests of the Night Shield. However, there's a possibility that the... I'm got, I got enamored. I don't like Brav or forgot how good this anime was. I know I had to be tough speaking and, and, and emoting and doing shit. We would have found out for sure who was responsible. I need new headphones, bro. I hate this shit. Everything is fine. Is there anything else of importance that I should know about this region? Let's see. The closest city to our village is the capital, Eranta. Goblins, orcs, and ogres inhabit the area, but you should be safe if you stay on the road. The adventurers hunt on that land and do a good job of keeping those bastards' populations in check. Well, damn. They're mercenaries who deal with monsters in exchange for payment. If you're interested in hiring some of them, there's a guild in Erantel where you can request their service. An adventurer's guild. And just how big of a... my headphones are out right now, bro. I'm not sure. Definitely larger than our village. I suspected that. If I want to find out more, I'll have to make a home for myself in the capital. These are facts. I could use my wand of resurrection. It would breathe life back into the dead villages. However, these people may not be as trusting of a magic user who's as good at reversing death as he is at bringing it. I can only imagine how much trouble I'd get myself into if I cast it. For now, I'll restrain myself. They should all be content with the fact that I saved this village. They, they should be, bruh. Thanks to my good deed, the story of how Einzel Gone saved Karn Village was spread across the countryside. My reputation should grow quickly. And if there are other players from Yggdrasil stuck in this world, they will hopefully hear of me and seek me out. I shouldn't kill any more humans unless necessary. 
I wouldn't want to antagonize any players. Also, a man with a reputation needs a cause. One that would allow me to win the support of one of the countries. I'm exhausted. Hmm? Today's mission was a great success. Let's head back home, Alberto. Right away, my lord. Hey there. They seem to dislike humans. What's to like about them? They're weak and pathetic. This tiny what would do to you? Rushed underfoot. Listen to me. I want you to show them respect. Act if you need to. But I demand that you treat the humans with kindness. Thank you. Be a side effect from being undead. But at least you have enough common sense to give us some respect. I'm afraid I don't have a plan. The problem keeps stacking up. Village chief, is there something wrong here? Lord Ainz, thank goodness. I was just told there are more soldiers heading toward the village at breakneck speed. Is that so? Don't worry, I can handle this situation. Please gather the surviving villagers around your house. When you're done, come meet me at the town square. Yes, of course. Big gas up. My dude was swollen. I am the chief royal warrior from the Riesi kingdom, Gazef Strona. The king has ordered me to hunt down the knights that have been attacking surrounding villages. Your people are safe now. We will do all we can to protect you. Thank you, General Gazza. Are you the chief of this village? Who is this man standing beside you? He looks peculiar. This gentleman No safe. need to worry about that now. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, General. My name is Ainz Ulgo. I'm a simple magic user who stumbled upon this town while it was being ransacked by those knights. These people would have been lost without you. Thank you, Sir Ainz. General! We've spotted a large army of unknown origin and they're surrounding the village even as we speak. Oh, CGI horses of fortune, I did not, I'm not uh, revisiting. <laughs> that's the end of episode three. Let's get it, let's get into it, bro. Them soldiers are stupid. As soon as I saw that Death Knight Kill them other dudes, I would have been gone. That's what commanders say. Oh, that's fight. Did you not just see this other dude hit it with his sword and break? Man, I'm gone. You on your own. You can find me somewhere else to go. I don't got time for this. Listen, this dude was offering like a thousand gold coins. That means I'm not getting paid that much to even do this. Y'all got me back. And it is weird to me that El Beto and them just automatically hate humans. I thought if they got on their bad side, you could hate them and stuff. Now I make mean, well look like I'm done, y'all. Yeah, I'm gonna be right back. Y'all know, know what time it is. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.